So, in checking out Vapor, Vaping with Vic, I saw him on the reviewer's queue last night. I said, I'm going to check this guy out. So I checked out his uh, Fogger V6 review, which looks very interesting. Did notice he had two issues with it. And uh, it was the O-ring at the top of the chimney. When he put everything down, when he put the glass down on it, I've got my Fogger V4 right here. And when you take all this apart, there's uh, the adjustable airflow right here, which on my 4 I have taken off. But when he puts the tank down, he puts the bottom section of the tank down and he tightens it down. But when you screw it all the way down tight, just like on the 4 and everything else, you can't fully adjust the airflow. In fact, on the 6, it tightens down so far that it basically locks the airflow control. Okay. Well, the design flaw he has is that part. Okay. And the top part leaks. I believe it's leaking there, buddy, because uh, when you lift this, unscrew this back off of your airflow ring, now you're leaving a gap up here when you tighten everything down. My suggestion to you is can you take that airflow ring off and maybe rub it a little bit on some sandpaper? Yeah, you shouldn't have to do it. It should come from the factory like that. We know, design flaws, whatever. But, instead of telling everybody to move up their O-ring, let's just take a little bit of sandpaper and sand down that uh, airflow ring just a little bit. So uh, when you screw this down, everything actually matches up and you don't have to mess with that O-ring anymore. Now in another response to his, uh, if you have a Fogger 4.0, 4.1, 5.0, you can't directly lung inhale. Well, this is a Fogger 4.0. And you can directly lung inhale without slipstreaming it. I just needed to mention these to you. You know, the reviewers or the looky loos or whatever you want to call them. I'm a looky loo. I'd be a looky loo. I'll show you what it is, show you what it's about, and uh, that's about it. It's not per se a review for me because uh, I don't go over the specs. You know, is it a 22 millimeter device? Well, look, here it is on my Nemi. This it fits flush whatever but I'm just saying you can do it no slip streaming direct lung inhale now whoop de do although I will say the Fogger V6 looks uh, interesting to say the least it's got those big juice channels in it yeah I'm a VG guy let's uh let's get bigger juice channels in now uh, there was one other thing on there that he had said and uh, I don't remember what it was now that's what you get for not taking notes down like everybody else Oh, and uh, I didn't look it up yet. I looked it up just to see what the price of the V6 is, and it's like 35 bucks. Um, hey, Vic, does it have an uh, adjustable center pin? Uh, I didn't see that in your video. The V4 does. It's got an adjustable copper center pin. It's kind of nice, actually. Does the V6? I don't know. Your video didn't state, so now i got to look it up. I'm just ripping on you, bud. It's all good. Come on now. Yes, the foggers suffer from when you have 
the airflow control ring on, you cannot open your airflow all the way. It's just the way it is. Then it's more of a uh, mouth to lung instead of direct lung inhale. And uh, but take the airflow ring off. And it's all good. And uh, as far as it not wicking the juice, lung hit after lung hit, um, it's doing just fine. No dry hits. Just saying. Y'all have fun now. Because I know I will.